Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Didn't I just review Surfshark 1 when it was fresh out of the oven? So why am I doing this? Well, it's a new update. Hey guys, I'm Mike from Cyber News, and today we're gonna dive in a little deeper. Yep, I'm gonna do a full-on Surfshark review and share my thoughts on the most recent Surfshark 1 bundle. By the way, if you want Surfshark 1, just use the special Cyber News deal in the description. I mean, we always update it with the latest prices and discounts, so why not? All right, so let's get down to business. First off, what the heck is Surfshark 1 if you don't know? Well, you probably know their VPN service because, well, let's face it, it's one of the best VPN providers on the market. Surfshark 1 is their VPN combined with an antivirus. And it's a pretty decent one, if I do say so myself. Last time, the major drawback I found was that it only worked on Windows and Android, which did make it one of the best VPNs for PC. But come on, guys, let's be a little inclusive here. And it looks like they are, with the latest update bringing Surfshark antivirus to macOS as well. And yeah, you know I tested it as soon as I got my grubby little hands on it, but more on that a little bit later. Now, Surfshark 1 does bring a couple more features than just Surfshark VPN paired with another antivirus, like Surfshark Alert, for example, which is for data leak tracking, and Surfshark Search, say that 10 times fast, its own private search engine. All that is great and cool, but how useful really are these tools? Well, let's start at the top. During my first Surfshark antivirus review, they didn't have much to brag about. Just a functional antivirus with multiple device scanning options and a real-time protection feature, which only worked on Android. Couldn't really call it the best antivirus for 2022, could I? Especially when the competition is so fierce. Well, they doubled up on the features this time, and now, oh, now we can judge. All right, there's Surfshark Cloud Protect, a cloud engine that additionally scans the hash info of unknown files and then checks if that new file is malicious or not. Be gone, zero day exploits. And there's Windows Real-Time Protection. I wanna keep my devices safe at all times, and this is one way I know how, to have an antivirus run scans in the background all the time. Originally, it was just for Android, and now I'm able to use it on my Windows PC. Oh yeah, love that extra layer of protection. Extra point to Surfshark for actually managing to get that real-time protection. Oh, rumor has it Microsoft makes this implementation process a total pain in the ass, and many companies fail to go through with it. And then there is, of course, the newly added Mac version. From the looks of it, it's in the works. In general, the apps don't differ that much between devices. The Mac OS version manages threats a bit differently, but that's mostly under the hood stuff. Both apps look modern and they're easy to navigate. They're not overloaded with unnecessary stuff, so even beginners won't be getting lost. So it looks nice, but what about the actual performance? Well, I did my own Surfshark antivirus test, planting 10 malicious files onto one of my devices. The full scan was quite fast, just under three minutes. Though I do need to mention that I did it on a virtual machine, which does not have as many files. Still, it's quite impressive that Surfshark AV managed to catch nine out of the 10 files that I did plant. Is it the best antivirus performance ever? No, not really, but nine is a great result. Plus, this is the beta version, so I'm hoping for a 10 out of 10 once the Surfshark antivirus is fully out. All right, one more important point regarding performance, Surfshark AV is very lightweight. My PC is already stuffed with apps, so it's nice that this one doesn't consume a lot of CPU and RAM resources. All right, and since we're talking about a Surfshark VPN and antivirus combo, well, I can't just leave the VPN part out. An antivirus alone isn't gonna safeguard or anonymize your traffic. So let's do a quick Surfshark VPN review. Since I've tested and even used Surfshark for quite a while at this point, I feel like I know their strengths and weaknesses by heart. Even despite the fact that they're based in a 14 eyes country, you know, the Netherlands, I just keep seeing the same solid security and privacy practices with their audited no logs policy, RAM only servers, and a bunch of other privacy focused features. Plus I can use WireGuard with the ChaCha20 encryption with Surfshark VPN on top of a bunch of other tunneling protocols. Okay, sure, it's fairly standard stuff, but it all meets my expectations to be one of the best VPN providers for 2022. Now their server pool is not the widest on the market with 3,200 plus servers, but they are in 65 countries, which is a lot. So, okay, 
not the biggest numbers overall, but when I tested Surfshark on Netflix, I got through to almost 30 foreign libraries. Yep, 30. So is the best VPN for Netflix? Yeah, it's certainly up there, especially since it also works well for torrenting. Uh-huh, you heard that right. All of their servers are optimized for P2P downloads. Surfshark speeds are plenty for both streaming and torrenting. During my testing, it retained about 88% of my original internet connection. Plus, I found that their speeds don't fluctuate much, and that is always a plus. But it's not all roses. While Surfshark's VPN for PC is fully packed with various features, their Apple products are slightly weaker. No split tunneling on iOS, and the GPS spoofing is an Android-only exclusive. As much as I'd love to, I can't really find much else to nitpick here. But if you're interested in a more comprehensive review, I'll link my Surfshark pros and cons video in the description. Oh, and in the comments as well. Why not? So, is Surfshark 1 the best VPN and antivirus combo? Is it worth it? Well, since the whole Surfshark 1 bundle currently costs under $4 a month, I'd say yeah, it's worth it. Mostly because of the overall value for the money. Their VPN is top notch, the antivirus shows good performance, and hey, buying each of these services on their own can get quite expensive. And with special deals, Surfshark 1 is a very pocket-friendly option. Surfshark 1 truly stepped up their game and now offers much more solid protection for both Windows and even Mac OS users. Is there room to improve? Of course there is. But I believe Surfshark will keep on cooking up new and exciting things. And I'll keep watching with my cyber senses tingling. If anything happens, I'll be the first to know and then you'll be the first to hear about it. Uh, that's assuming you hit the subscribe button. Just saying, don't want you to miss out. All right, what are your thoughts? Does Surfshark have the best antivirus and VPN combo? Let me know in the comments below. And before we part ways, click that box for the best deals. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.